Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Breakfast Show. This is your host Martin Wong with another trading idea from Smart Roby. Now, this morning you would have known last night closing where we saw the Dow Jones as well as the Nasdaq fall by a huge amount, and people are worrying: Is this the market crash? You know, or is this a correction? But let me clarify to you in the middle section of this. Uh, live FB. So by the end of today, your time well spent for us will be fully explained with our smart lobby and with our uh, trade VSA charts that you can see from in here. But let's get down to our morning headline in here. And of course, today is Wednesday. We are on the almost end of September month, just one more day, uh, which is tomorrow. And we will be doing our master class. That's right. This Friday night. Now, for those of you who have uh, registered for our masterclass, thank you for your support and don't miss out this opportunity to learn more about the market buying on dips because if you miss this October class, then you have to wait until end of the year. By that time, the market would have rallied and you're buying at the top. So this is quite important. And I do say those of you who join us uh, and or for those of you who are masterclass also really attending back in October, this is actually the best month. And I will be teaching you how to buy on dip. Something we talk about in bottom fishing for those of you who remember. And that's where the reward pay for those of you who dare to venture, of course. Now let's get on to the headlines that we have for you this morning, right? Definitely the market uh, is definitely falling down. Let's take a look at where we are this morning. We can click on to Roby chart here and let's look at the live price, stock prices. Of course, one of the easiest ways, as I said before, switching to a wider chart here to look at the FBM 30, right? But of course, let's take a look at what we have the major decliner and major gainer big on the active stocks almost is CKKD this is just listed I think uh, if I'm not mistaken this is a new IPO stock for CK CEKD DMAX continue to be up there uh, ADN bullish uh, and copy and these are all your penny stocks the Dutch lady uh, the harbor gain significantly and this is one of the stocks that was discussed also in our telegram chat and Aeon credit this morning are uh, up. Uh, let's look at some of the other big decliner uh, we have Nestle uh, um, and uh, we have uh, Hong Leong uh, financial group MPI but just more or small amount it's just that the amount that they have but let me just click on the FBM 30. You can see in here the market is down 13 points. Uh, yesterday we see the rebound of the Hatta Lega and the rubber glove stock. And this is also reacting to something I will talk about shortly in here. So make sure you stay on when I talk about the rubber glove ASP. And also check out that i3 article that we posted on why the ASP are declining. Something follow up from our Wednesday night talk that we did on uh, on last Wednesday. But this Wednesday we'll be doing a Zoom session in here. So all in all, you can see from here, everything seems to be pinkish, losing grounds in here and uh, so far i do hope that eventually uh the market will rebound reacting also to the 12 malaysia plans which is something i will also talk about shortly now all right let's move on to our news headline news headlines this morning roundup now what's in store is the review of the 12th Malaysia plan which is every five years in here and again the focus will be pretty much similar to 11 Malaysia plan but with a slightly higher KPI or target in here. Of course usually when this kind of uh, Malaysia plan that comes out for a five year strategic plan you will get a lot of uh, so called NGO and association praising in but all in all, with the COVID-19, I do think that uh, some of these Malaysian plan, uh, in short, are good as an exercise, but whether the implementation of, because it actually fell short of some of the targets that we have seen in here. But all in all, it's a good, uh, 
initiative for the hooray hooray or hoorah hoorah the kind of initiative that we need to get the market moving in here now of course this article also talk about the sentiment hinge on the economic reopening momentum and many economists and analysts would use this uh, 12 Malaysia plan as a pitch why the market is going higher now no doubt yesterday when the market pitch up we have this uh, let me just blow up the chart in here we have this market but all in all uh, we have the line change yesterday but today the market is down 13 points yesterday let's take a look at the market was up last minute and some of the members were asking why did the market go up last minute and usually it is on lower cost and the market was up 13 points you can see from the right hand side but right now it's also down 13 points and do take note if the market today end with a two bar reversal which means one are up one bar down that's not so good but i've seen this many many times again this is likely to continue where we have here and let's pinch this up so you can definitely see from here the chart right and following my arrow here uh we are we do have a base here around the 1520 uh 1560 will be a resistant uh as i said before september and october month are the two bearish month that we have in here again i will talk about also in the u.s perspective but for september we are almost over there so that's why uh you know early september we have the red pentagon spot on again on pentagon guider uh for, for letting us know in here and likelihood we won't likely to see uh, much of the green pentagon maybe until uh, early november or maybe end october uh, on the top of it this is seem to be a very nice correction reacting to the seasonality of the market in here but in this article rhb institute was pointing out that uh, the Trump malaysia plan will impact uh, a lot of the construction in here we haven't seen the construction stop moving and how do we know that we can simply just check on the hot sectors to know if the sectors are moving from then onwards of course we can also pitch in and look at the day but right now the energy are moving uh, the oil and gas seems to be taking a cue from the rising oil price uh, almost touching 80 dollars i have not checked it yet so i'm not too sure whether it hits 80 or not but having said that the oil and gas are the big mover this morning uh, in here so if you can look at the uh, no the last last three or four days in here so they're big major move but i do think some of them are correcting as i said it right now so check out of those uh in here so healthcare technology property telecommunication that will be the focus if you are focusing on the malaysian market and in line with the 12 malaysian plan what i've seen lately that works very well is usually uh uh analyst re-rating or analyst asking people to buy uh, the stock seems to be moving those usually attract a lot of what we call uh like bees to honey okay and then immediately once those news are out market tend to sell off and smart money in many ways use this pretense to distribute over in here but the best thing is actually to buy or enter the market before this analyst comes out and one of the way to do that is really learning to read price and volume or at least following the pentagon guider chart in here all right now give me a comment and what do you think what i've just said there does it make sense all right okay let's move on to the next news that we have uh it's on the august export driven by uh the electrical engineering product which is your semiconductors your uwc's uh your great tech your inaris all those products been shipping out in here and also petroleum so as long as the petroleum prices continue to go higher right uh, then we would have the market i do think that the oil and gas sector will play a part coming back in here now the ministry uh, Minty did say that the export were due to uh, electrical and electronics higher shipment in here and they all shipped to ASEAN, China, United States and EU. One comment I do have about the China is uh, a news that was put out by the uh, news talking about the, uh, potentially China slowing down. Okay, If China is slowing down, that kind of news do get into the major, major uh, news on Malaysia, then you will see. Uh, those electrical 
and electronic sector will also drop. So keep in mind, uh, right now the technology stocks are really buzzing, mm, heading head higher, but I think they are due for correction in here. That doesn't mean it is a market crash, do take note of it, all right? So let's go on to the next news that we have earlier on, I was talking about yesterday, where we have a big move by Hatha Lega. That's right, yesterday Hatha Lega rebounded almost with a 9.6% in here, but today, pull back slightly in here. And because I personally think that as long as the news uh, continue to be bad for rubber glove, but on the chart wise, we are seeing a nice pullback and I think Hatha Lega did turn into a green pentagon. Let's take a look at Hatha Lega here. So we type that in. Okay, Hatha and hit that one. Let's take a look at the chart. Stock chart, stock command here and let's work on this one in here. If you can see, uh, it is minus 60. Okay, the Pentagon flow is minus 60 because we're still in a downtrend, but it finally turned green Pentagon. No doubt the slope is still down, so we need to for it to move something very similar to here, a sideway and hope for the pullback in here. Else, to be frank with you, this could be just a quick profit taking until the market congests. The last time when I see rubber glove pulls, uh, pull and started to move was the pre-COVID and it does congest for a fair bit of time. So hopefully during that time, uh, you will get a little bit of dividend. No doubt, many analysts and many uh, bloggers out there, the famous one is shunting away from rubber glove because of the continuing declining ASP price. Check out the articles that I posted on the i3 and also the video tutorial, uh, not the video that we did Facebook last Wednesday on YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be more informed of the rubber glove. Now, likely what we are seeing now is research house are paring down the ASP prices and saying this will likely to normalize back in 2023, but no doubt we are seeing still continued higher prices of ASP right now, but that will moderate towards lower, dropping almost 8 to 10% on the month-to-month -month basis. So they are painting very, very bad picture uh, for the uh, rubber glove sectors. And that's why rubber glove sector continue to fall down. It's just continued bashing uh, by the analysts on ASP. And I can't blame that because you do have many, many of the other sectors in Malaysia listed company that turned into rubber glove during the uh, COVID-19. And very similar what we saw also in 2008 when the CPO prices was high, everybody moved into CPO. But at that time, 2008 was quite different from right now because there was abundance of labor, foreign labors. But right now, uh, not many people are moving into palm oil because of the plantation. And also, it's always been the issue of the climate change and also the fossil fuel versus the bio. Uh, sorry, the biofuel, uh, biofuel uh, that is um, uh, controversy which is caused by the palm oil. So going back to this uh, ASP prices, now on chart wise you could see uh, it is a beginning. I still think that it's still a beginning of a time to think to accumulate uh, rubber glove stop in here. And rubber glove will continue to grow, but you are also facing uh, a lot of the uh, expansion by the uh, Chinese and Thai, which I talked about last week too on the, the video uh, Facebook user. So check out that for more information. Now on the other side of the so-called uh, loan, grown, uh, the other one that has done pretty well is RCE Capital. But RCE Capital appeal more to the government servant, Aeon Credit appeal more to your small time uh, uh, loan or small loan in here. Now Aeon Credit earning up 46% in here, uh, which is from last quarter again with the recovery of the economy. But do take note, there's also another news that came out. Many of the smaller businesses were already out. So having said that, they may turn into loans, but again, revenue may drop also uh, with this basis. Now let's take a look at the chart, what we have. Aeon Credit being a credit lender, small loan in here. And stock charts talk, comment. That tells you it did hit uh, let's zoom this up here. 
to 12.23. So it's pretty much, as I said before, sideways, uh, a longer term play for these stocks in here. So uh, let's take a look at the fundamentals, this kind of stocks, if you want to look at. And it does give you a 6 out of 8. And it pays a 2.4% dividend with a ROE of 20 times. And it is relatively cheap, all right? Relatively cheap. But again, people shun away from this kind of uh, uh, business. Aeon Credit is partly due to the, uh, the non-growth prospect compared to what we see in the technology and also in the EV sector. Of course, let's take a look at Aeon Credit. It's not breaking, it's not breaking. All right, I was told my sound is breaking in here. Uh, this could be this. This could be due to the internet because the the uh, settings I had will be still the same in here. I will try to continue and uh, let's see. Okay, yes. do let me know if the sound is okay here. So uh, let me see what else can I do here. Okay, we will just continue from here onwards. So let's take a look at the quarterly earnings. Uh, and for that, we want to look at the margins. Okay, so we look at the quarterly in here. The margins, is it expanding? Let me just bring this up again. Yep, you can see here. So this is a quarterly. You can see profit margin is actually expanding. From uh, first quarter, I'm uh, sorry, first quarter 2021 is 35% and then fourth quarter is 24%. So all in all, it's actually expanding the margin, which is very, very healthy. So this is, I think, a potential play eventually when people or the market discover this, okay? You will see uh, Aeon Credit moving back up. But what's not good, you can see, is the declining margin in 2019 and 2020, where it was 13, uh, 15, and 17 here but if you look at the quarterly it started to move up so keep an eye on these stocks in my opinion i think with the recovery right you can see uh nine percent fourth quarter so it is moving in the uptrend so if we do have the next quarter coming in uh higher which is the second quarter 21 you will see aeons uh, which also many of you would agree that aeon is right now poised to have a very good support here around the $12 mark right and that's my take on the Aeon credit here so let's go on to the next is the Reservoir Link now Reservoir Link is one of the oil and gas player on listed on the ACE market so it is has a code of RL switching to a wider chart here so it looks from the stock chart stock comment and you could see RL continue to hit up. Now take note, a lot of the oil and gas did not have this very nice trend. This is uh, pe pegging along of the transfer to the main board. What it simply means that usually on the ACE market, there are tendency of less financial institutions uh, willing to take up these shares. But when they transfer, uh, transfer itself to the main board, it becomes more liquid and it gets into the radar of the financial institution. And that's why we will see many of these uh, stocks will do pretty well. But right now, uh, I do think it's time to take a little bit of uh, profit in here. And that will be something good too, all right? So let me just, uh, okay. Okay, so that's, uh, so you can see right now. So let's take a look at this morning in here, the stock, live stock price should be up. Oh, it's, yeah, it's up slightly at 60 cents in here. If you are in at the green Pentagon early on, you're likely to gain 24% from that time onwards, okay? Now let's move on to where we are right now, to the next news. 
Now, don't forget, for those of you who are first time, do check out the user guide on the fourth version of Smart Roby in here. So, merely if you do see this, just click on this one here, and there are some very important information that will help you how to look for the best trade stocks in here. Just couple of pages in here very simple to use which also explains support and resistance and to put you in the right perspective so check it out in there and that's going to help you a fair bit now turning our attention to the u.s market right now now we have seen yesterday the u.s market has a big correction in here and uh, well, it is what we call a two-step forward one step back okay two step forward because the market is really moving and we do know uh, on this channel as well as our live facebook i've been talking about the september and october correction in here so i think many of you who've been followed would have known this and be informed early on what is does this market in here now if you do not know what is correction and market crashes do check out our youtube facebook in here for some information that will uh help you in here now let's looking at the s p 500 yesterday looking at this chart you could see uh, again the red pentagon uh, did come out significantly again in the same time on september in here the market corrected and uh, right now you can see is in yellow trend zone so no way right now we will see this turning green pentagon in here market seems to be correcting in here and to me it's a good area to buy but make sure you know how to read the trade set up okay very important to read the trade setup and this is time and time again we do this in some of our public workshop and in our pay workshop to teach you how to do this correctly buying at dips can be very profitable in here all right now also something that we will do tonight in our zoom session in here uh, on the uh, uh, comment that you see there is a link do join us tonight we'll be talking about futures and u.s market i would have uh, my coach uh, Arif with me tonight at 9.30 to talk more about looking into US market. A very quick update and to showcase to you the trade VSA. Those of you uh, who have not joined us, do join us and for many of our uh, past members, we welcome you back for our day 3 session in here. All right. So looking at this, uh, we will see some more correction going forward. You can see Alibaba is uh, coming back a little bit of gaining, right? Uh, we got uh, Apple down 2%, uh, down $3 to 141 And it does represent an opportunity for you to buy, okay? For you to buy in here. Remember, fear is an asset in the stock market. When people are fearful, you should think to buy but know where you are all right let's move on to the next uh, highlight it's the chips okay now we do know the semiconductor chips uh, stocks are sliding and it, this is also responding to what I've talked about uh, the bond you now we are in the correction mode, not not market crash market crashes we saw was last year in the March 2020 when we have the COVID-19 which are inherited and there were loss of jobs and usually when you see market crashes eventually that cost loss of jobs we have a dip in the economy but now it's more of reacting to the bond you rise that the US FOMC again they'll be meeting on November 2nd and 3rd will probably be coming up with minutes so this is why uh, the market is reacting to it so you will see uh, the 2nd and 3rd of November take note that that time frame right 2nd and 3rd so usually the dip will always be the lowest in end of October. That's right. So by the time they have this announcement, yes, they will be tapering up. That is where that is the lowest point, all right? Uh, uh, when the minutes comes out, and then immediately after the FOMC meeting, we were likely to see rally. So right now, it's going to be a bumper ride to the bottom. How deep? How far? Check out some of the YouTube's. I'll talk about how far we're going to go back in here. Knowing between corrections and market crashes will help you to wave off any of your fear that you see in the market in here. Now, in the stock market, there are going to be ups and downs. But the most important is knowing and definitely our trade VSA Pro Dashboard has all the tools to keep you informed and not fearful. All right. Now, let's turn our attention now to the uh, Singapore side. Hatton uh, uh, Oceanus. 
UOB. These are the stock to watch from the Singapore Business Time this morning in here. But the stock in very term nice is Capital Ritz. Now Singapore again, going back to the US here, and we see this US chart. Uh, sorry, the Singapore chart here, and turning ourselves to Robbie chart. We will see the SDI market today. Again, uh, just turn green Pentagon. This was 28. So Malaysia, and I do think that the re-rating or the favorable opinion that a lot of analysts has on the financial sectors, our market might turn. So it's important today how this uh, 12 Malaysian plan and the sell-off that we see reacting to the US market. I do think US market tonight will rebound back because we had a huge drop, almost 560 points for the Dow Jones in here. But the market will react, then we will see Friday a little bit of recovery in here. And depending how much, right, the uh, the KLCI sell down today in here. So right now we were previously about 10 points or 11 point previously was up 13 points. So on the Singapore side, you can see here, just blowing this chart a little bit, right? And you can see we just turned green Pentagon in here because it has been down for a fair bit. And eventually, I do think the Dow Jones will experience the same thing too. And then that, that will also fall upon the Malaysian market here, okay? So the stocks that are of my interest is Capo, which is a pretty good uh, Capo rates. So let's take a look by switching to a wider chart here. So we're just typing capo. Capo rates is K seventy one U. If not mistaken, hit that one and uh, yeah, capo rates. You can see uh, it's a positive flow, sixty percent, and that's actually a good area. And also, it turned green pentagon. Okay, now this one here. But let's go over right at the bottom here. Yep. It then green and coming up from a low side. It did hit green pentagon, pull back, got a test inside here. And if this morning it is up and closes above the test, that is what we call a confirmed test. Yep, it closes 1.9% in here. So that tells you strength are coming in for this stock for capital risk. So keep in mind in here, this stock has a bit of room to move up for those of you who are looking into the Singapore market here. Okay, now uh, let's turn our attention now to the past leaderboard in here. We haven't got any uh, big winner in here. This is despite the market that we see in the KLCI market really hasn't been trending. We can see right from the KLCI uh, over the past uh, one and a half months since the 5th of September, those of you who know, the KLCI has been trending down. If you look at the KLCI market right now, and our offer still stands uh, for the free usage of Smart Ruby to the 31st of December. So you can use many of our premium function previously, like our ST2 intraday, when you can pick up. So from this over, you can see uh, going back to the first week of September, uh, the trend is down. So it's very hard to pick some of these stocks in here. But let's take a look at uh, the others Pentagon uh, trade VSA ideas. Some of them are strictly penny stocks. You could see uh, previously, we have uh, BSL Corp went almost 90% uh, in here. And uh, one of the things you could do, being a Smart Ruby user, you can always go over to our website, tradevsa.com, and look at the latest Opcom. You can click on that one. And actually, it was triggered on the 7th of September in here. Now, you see Opcom, if you look back on the 7th of September, the chart that I have here, it was still under 50%. Okay, and uh, Opcom now has gone up to 90%. So let's take a look on the 7th of September in here. This is where you need a uh, much more visual, okay, uh, for this. Let's look at Opcom. Now again, this one in here, there you go. Spotted in here, 7th of September, and the market has a big 36% in here. Still trending up in here. So if you want to enter this stock. Make sure you have the necessary tools, right? And also know how to trade this kind of stocks. Don't just simply enter for the sake. And that's why it's important. The Pentagon Guider will point you 
to the right area in here. If the trade don't work out, you need to have a plan. If a trade works something, you need to have a plan. So this is how Opcon were able to give you this kind of return in here. Uh, let's look at the others from what we have here. And we also have, of course, not all of them are winners. This is where you want to check it out. And uh, Air Asia is coming in right now. We could see that Airport Amanda and also Front Ken. And these are the ones that did turn. And you can see the losses are smaller, but the winners are bigger. Okay, so something for those of you who are interested to learn a lot more using the free tools, but of course, having a plugin like the TradeVSA.com, uh, TradeVSA plugin here will definitely give you an edge up here. KGB is still there, but it is not part of the main leaderboard, right? PLC was higher, uh, then it drops out, but you can see the big one is Opcon, Opcon Oregon Gila Gila, right? So why I intend to show you this is try not to pick those or in the top leader. The question is always try to pick those started out around in here, front can, and it's going to be coming a lot from the trade VSA Pentagon uh, uh, screener that we have on our dashboard in here. All right. All right. Something that we will showcase to you on the coming workshop that we'll be doing this weekend here. Plenty to learn, plenty of opportunity for you to make money in this but you need to be very selective and also you can uh, trade by the KLC sectors in here we will know what are the bigger sectors right now in here a more comprehensive than what we have on smart will be in here okay uh, for the lesson learned that we have on the 22nd of second we actually chose D and O being a technology sector in here and you could see on the 22nd of September, the market did hit up, but now has pulled back and we are down slightly. Let me just pull this again to here, about one or two percent, a small loss. But overall, we could see this is again, as I said before, we will see corrections on the technology stocks like what we are seeing just now, giving you an update from the US side in here. But right now, the trend is still up, play uh, offensive let the trend run and who knows if dno can hang on for subsequent weeks coming back to end of october then you see another rise in here and here the whole point is not to succumb to fear as i said before those of you who have come to our workshop in here i say time and time again the difference between trained investor and not trained investor is how they view the market now, if you are not trained, you are always susceptible to uh, news, friends. Someone say something, you will react. Then what you generally need to do is you go back to asking someone. And because you were not committed in your learning, which means you are not having a mentor or been mentor or coach on. So that's where the education stops. It's part and parcel in here to learn when I started off being uh, as a coach or being coaching is to understand that the importance of a continuation uh, uh, learning to ensure that whatever the tools that you use will help you to prepare for the coming month. So DNO so far is down slightly but it's still holding up a nice spring in here. Let's take a look at what we have for the coming weeks. Okay, so this, this week for episode 1 to 1 29th September, we are looking at Heng Yuan. And one of them we are looking at Heng Yuan. You can see from here onwards on this right hand side, we are seeing oil and gas, okay, uh, which is the energy. Let me just check out the energy. Yeah, energy is coming here, which is number three. Okay, technology stock has been still the king, but it will be replaced very soon. So let's take a look at Heng Yuan. I'm going to bring up the Heng Yuan trading plan here. Again, every week, we want to show you how to do this. So let's look at the weekly direction of Heng Yuan. So switching to a weekly chart. Now we can see weekly chart just finally turned green pentagon. First time after so long. You can see huh? this goes back to uh, when it first turned December. Wow, look at that one. First time turning green pentagon. Okay, 
So since December 2020. Okay. Now let's switch to a daily chart. It turned green Pentagon on the 24th of September. Okay. Okay. This is 24th September. Okay. Important price level. This is where we use Smart Roby to assist us. Okay. So we go on to Smart Roby here. And now uh, we go on to our next thing, which is Heng Yuan. We type Heng Yuan here. You go on to stock chart, stock comment. No, we go on to trading plan. That's right. And you could see R1 is. Uh, 4.444 okay so we need the market to break up higher before we want to enter so important price level in here will be r1 which is 454 and r2 is 458 okay those are your two uh, important price level and weekly resistance so we are talking about somewhere here but the old resistance which is way back, way back, somewhere back to June, right? It's around $5, five, five for five. Okay, we can also put that five, five for five is the last high resistance. And when is that date? 23rd of June, wow, that's the most, Okay, 23rd, three months ago. Uh, why can the uh, why is the market can go higher? Are we seeing volume? Yes. Okay. Okay. Volumes coming in. Okay. Low support. So we, if we want to look at the low support, we go to exit strategy. Okay. So we want to go exit strategy. So support in here we have S1 and S2. Which is way way down in here. But take note what Smart Robbie is saying. The further away S1 S2 support from a closing price, the better. Do you want this market moving higher and not to retest the support level in here? So we have this. Uh, currently the ATR is 391. Okay, 391. You can see that one. So which is doing well, which is 12% up. Okay. So low, of course. If you just do this on a basis, you can see up 5%, up 3% in here. So you just want to make sure it is tailing at 404, okay? 404, and you can use the uh, S1 at 367, okay? Last high resistance inside here, we can put uh, $5, 505, and R2 is 460 let's put it around 460 okay 460 let me just switch to a wider chart here yeah i think that's that's you can see that one a wider chart in here so trending period let's take a look at the trending period now the last time where the market really trend okay you could see what was around this period here okay so from here we what we're going to do is use the uh shift mouse click on this one and drag somewhere <laughs> around here so you can see that was about 28 bars. And right now, again, if you do see a rally on the oil and energy gas price, then you'll see this rally in another 28 days. So about one month. So all in all, we want to keep this, or at least allow the experiment for this share to move about one month. And if you do see one month, the likelihood the market's gonna hit $5 or 460 that level, all right? So that is the uh, Heng Yuan for India. Remember, we're buying a share that is already trending up. Of course, using Green Pentagon will be much, much better in here. Take note of it. And who knows if the oil and energy sector will to move back. Eventually, when you will see, what's going to happen is that many of these 
stock winner. Sorry. Okay, many of these stock winners that you have see will be uh, the oil and gas player in here. Okay, so we're going to save this and next week we will come back and review this. All right, let's move on to the other section that I have for all of you in here. And of course, and continue update of our fixed real money portfolio. We are still up 8%. Not too bad considering the market was trending downwards. We are still positive, uh, being very conservative and not trading when the KLCI is on the yellow trend zone. So how has your portfolio been doing in here? Do let us know and let us know any way we can help you in your uh, uh, control of your uh, financial using the uh, trade VSA or using the smart robe chart in here so you can prosper most important is that have a way of gauge knowing how well you fare in here now of course hot sector just now we did cover it earlier on so i'm just going to quickly go to go ahead in here yes this coming friday is our october Intake. That's why our ultimate make our monthly, uh, every two months or bi monthly masterclass in here. If you do miss this one, you have to wait until December. So, knowing the important points that we will touch on to buy on this tip, don't miss this for the big major move that we'll see but in the year end. Time and time and again, I'm telling you, and again, I'll tell And also, we'll be looking at the US market and the futures, which you can short on the downside in here take note of it all right and also don't forget this is a qr code for tonight the continuation for day three and day four of our trade vsa showcase and tonight we'll be talking about u.s market and profit from falling markets so make sure you check us out then all right now we'll come to the part where we're doing stock review and many of you may already know that the market is trending down if you are trading you stay off and if you are investing look into the bottom fishing trade something that we already talked about in here so if you have any charts that you want to look at okay there is a question in here which sector is Wilma is in every culture okay so if you go f okay we have here we have full full Wilma let's take a look at Wilma SGX let's look at Wilma here F34 and to know what, what sector they are in, they are in stock fundamentals. You can check it out here and it is in consumer. They call it consumer defensive. So what you want to do is going over to the smart ruby chart and going to the hot sectors which consumer defensive cyclic no they are still right at the bottom. That's right, they're still right at the bottom. That hasn't come in yet, okay? How to read Vilma in Smart Roby? Uh, can you be more explicit, Fufu? What do you mean by read Smart Roby? Okay, if you want to read the chart, learn to read the Pentagon. Okay, and there is a guide up here. Use this guide, the KLSC, the version for Smart Roby, and that will definitely help you uh, a bit more and come and attend to our workshop if later suitable for you just upgrade to our master class all right it's a price to invest but this investment will bound to bring you in very plentiful okay let's take a look at the other questions that we have uh, for the other members in here so any stocks that they you want me to review or you guys are pretty well taken care of knowing when to cut loss knowing when to take profit and if that is the case we are very happy that you are following your trading plans and not just simply you know holding and hoping for the best we all know we are already in the correction modes in here do let us know Okay, if not, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, all our valuable lessons are in our YouTube. So you can follow in here totally free. And don't forget to join our 
Telegram chat room and do share this chat room in your uh, friends and colleagues so they will benefit too. And also check out the i3 investor article that we wrote about the rubber glove sectors in here. And don't forget to reverse review us on our Google Play Store in here. So that's all we have for you. And I'll see you tonight in our Zoom session at 9.30. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye.